Hello people, my name is Freddy and in this tutorial I will show you how you can implement shipping within your WooCommerce website. And we will also automate the shipping process based on the total weight of the order or based on the price, based on where people live and everything will be automated. So right now when I ship this to the United States I pay $12.95 but when I want to ship this to the Netherlands for instance I need to pay $16.95 and what I also see I need to spend more money to get free shipping when I ship things to the Netherlands. So when it comes to shipping, you have a lot of flexibility to adjust it to your wishes. If you want to learn from start to finish how to create a complete web shop using WordPress and WooCommerce, then watch this tutorial. Now let's get started. In order to configure shipping in our website, we go to the back end to WooCommerce settings. And first we need to make sure where we want to sell to. So here are selling locations and I want to sell to specific countries just for the sake of the tutorial. So I choose the United States and I use the Netherlands. Awesome. Ship to all the, all the countries you sell to. So I save it and then I want to go to shipping. I want to add a shipping zone, but I want to use, uh, if I click on add shipping zone and a shipping method, I see three options flat rate, free shipping, and local pickup. Well, I want to have another one and I need to have a plugin for that. So I go to plugins, add new, and I search for table rate and it's from Octolize. I click on install now and what it does, it helps you to calculate shipping based on the price or the weight of the order and also depending on where you sell to. So if you sell to the Netherlands or to Canada, you can have a different shipping rate than when you sell to the United States. So I really like this option. So let's uh, go back to shipping, shipping zones here in the WooCommerce settings, shipping, shipping zones. I want to add one. I want to start with the United States. I can select regions. Well, I want to select, select the whole country for the whole country. I want to have the same rates for shipping. doesn't matter if you ship products to Miami or to Kansas. Everything will be the same. If you want to be specific, you can select it over here. But I want to use the whole United States. And then I add a shipping method. And this time there's a new one, the fourth one, flexible shipping. I click on add shipping method. I click on shipping, flexible shipping again. And I want to rename this to UPS because in the United States, I will use UPS as a carrier. No description because I already have it over here. I want the, the shipping to be taxable, but I want to exclude the, the, the shipping cost from the taxes. So it will be shown later at the checkout. But on the card page, the taxes will not be added to the shipping cost already. It will be done at the checkout. Free shipping requirements. Well, minimum order value when people buy for at least $200, they get free shipping. Scroll down and close this. Uh, I can do two things. I can create the conditions based on the weight. So if the weight is from zero to one LBS, what do people need to pay for shipping? And then you need to go to all the products holding command. For instance, the Nintendo Switch. I go to shipping and I can at the weight and then based on the total weight of all the products people buy on your website, they pay a certain amount of money for the shipping. Well, I prefer what I see everywhere is the price. I never, never see this based on the weight. So I use price from $0 until 90.99. People have to pay $4.95 in the United States. New rule, price, tap from $20 until 49.99 people will pay $7.95 from 50 until $199.99 people will pay $12.95 and then another one it's not necessary so okay let's get rid of this one uh, let me save it I can delete this one and I, I said, so from $200 on, that's what I said over here, the shipping is free. This is only for the United States. So when people go to your website, 
and they add things to the cart, things that are physical. I can view the cart. Okay, let's get rid of all the uh, coupon codes. It says the shipping needs to be calculated based on where I come from. And then people can select the Netherlands or the United States because I said I sell only to those two countries for the sake of the tutorial. So people can search for the country Netherlands. Let's do the United States. Update. And then what we will see, free shipping. Why? We are above $200. So if I would get rid of this one, now I pay $12.95. Let me show you why. WooCommerce settings shipping united states ups over here the total amount is 69.98 that's in between 50 and 199 so i have to pay 12.95 if i would spend between 20 dollars and 40.99 by getting rid of this one i pay 7.95 why between 20 and 499 is 795. So in that way, oh, this is amazing. We can calculate shipping. But it's only for a certain address. But what I really like over here is the option. If I scroll up, up. Display the notice when the amount that with the amount left free for shipping. This is amazing. You only actually I want to read this text. So what I will do, I will type it over here. You only need Percentage one dollar or S more to get free shipping. So let me cut it, paste it, let's say test. Okay, save the changes. Let's refresh this. Say two update. You only need one hundred twenty dollars more test. So I will get rid of the test area. Why do I type this in? If I don't type this in, let me cut it and I save it. There's a small glitch showing uh, not showing a space over here, or maybe it's working now. It is working. It is working. So I don't need to fill in anything over here, but before there was a, a small, small glitch. So there was no space over here. Awesome. They, they fixed it. How cool is that? So this can motivate people. It will motivate me always, especially when it's only $20 left, <laughs> spend five more cents to get free shipping. Well, in that case, I will buy something and then there's free shipping. No shipping options were found. Okay. This is a glitch. Because over here we said minimum order value should be 200. So in that case, I go over here to the price and I say from $200 on, it is free. So just to make it sure, refresh and then it says UPS free. So that's why I just started with the, the, the fourth one, but I was like, hey, maybe fix it also because I already said it over here. So it's, it's double. But uh, it's working. So this is how it works for the United States. So what I need to do now, I need to go to shipping, shipping zonas, add a new shipping zona. And this time I say the Netherlands. And then I select the Netherlands. Add a shipping method, flexible shipping. Okay, okay, okay. Again. 200 or maybe here it's 300 for the Netherlands because there are different rates. I turn this on, I leave it as it is. And then again, price from zero until 1999, you pay 695. So in the Netherlands, it's, it's a bit more expensive. Maybe the, the, my company is in the United States. So sending it from the United States to the Netherlands is more expensive. So 49.99 is $12.95. Or let's let's use different numbers 595 1195 so you can see the difference better from 50 until 199.99 let's say this it is 1495 
and then two more from 100 until 199.99 it is 16.95 and from 200 to 299.99 it's 90 95 and then from that point on it is completely free save it so now i'm over here with this beautiful product six of them and i change the address right now it's free because it's above 200 but if i sell it to the netherlands or ship it to the netherlands I need to pay 90.95. Why? Because it's between two and 300 euros or dollars. That's what I said over here. If the price is between 200 and 299, this is what you will pay. So that's awesome. Now we can configure this for, for every country you sell to and it's all automated. So that's how we can work with shipping. And as I said, you can do it based on the weight, but I never see that. For all the websites I made, I never had to do that based on the weight. So I always use the price. And if I bring it down, it says you need $140 more to get free shipping. But if I would change it to the United States, I already have the free shipping. So how cool is that? I think it's pretty cool. That's how you can deal with shipping. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you want to learn how to create a complete WordPress website from start to finish, then watch this tutorial. It will appear somewhere over here. And if you want to subscribe, it will also appear somewhere over here. You can do that for more upcoming WordPress, WooCommerce, affiliate marketing, and e-commerce, but the same as WooCommerce related tutorials. Okay, bye-bye.